Hey everybody, it's Chris from sequindesign.com. Uh, I'm going to show you briefly how to uh, how to add a new account to Google Analytics. I was using another company. It's called Going Up. Uh, you can see it right here. Uh, not going to use them anymore. Uh, just trying something new, but I'm actually going to switch back to Google Analytics because I did not like the uh, other company going up. They, they don't. It's more graphical. Uh, not really as good as Google Analytics. Uh, so basically, what you do is you click uh, Add New Account. There, you're going to go ahead and click Sign Up. It's pretty basic to the point. Um, enter the website diamondandnailsfall.net. Here you can enter in a custom name. I'm going to use this here, Diamond and Nails. Diamond Nails and Spa dot net. Uh, set it to Eastern Time. I'm going to use the customer's name here. Uh, set the country. Click Next. This is the Google um, Terms and Agreement. Create the account. Okay. Then it gives you the code here. So JavaScript code. You copy it. Next thing you want to do, uh, open up your um, editor. I use Dreamweaver CS5. You can use Notepad or Notepad++. Um, then I'm going to open up the customer site. It's already picked out here. All their files are right here. I'm going to highlight the pages that I want to install Google Analytics to. Um, Google Analytics re recommends that you install their scripting right above the body tag, the end body tag of your HTML code. You just paste it there, click save, I'll show you again, scroll down to the bottom of your code. It's right above this code here. This is where you add your script. Alright, so I just added the uh, last Google Analytics uh, script to the website. Um, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and open up my FTP program. I use uh, FileZilla. So I'm going to open up FileZilla right here. Uh, then I log into the uh, customer's FTP. All right, so I just pulled up uh, FileZilla connected to the client's FTP site. Um, I'll go ahead and look for their folder here. Go into where I store the code. Um, then once again, I'll just highlight all the HTML that I just added the Google Analytics code to. Drag it over to the uh, server. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite it. Of course I do. Go ahead and let that... All right, now that it's all uploaded, let's go back to Google Analytics. Okay, we got the tracking code. We're just going to want to track a single domain. There are other options. You can track multiples with uh, multiple subdomains or multiple top-level domains. Um, we're just going to do the single domain. There's advanced features in here you can mess around with. Uh, we're not going to do anything. This is just a basic uh, installation of Google Analytics. Save and finish. All right, after that loads, there's, uh, there's not going to really be any data because we just loaded it. Um, we're going to want to go to View Report. All right, so after we click that, this screen comes up here. There's a question mark, Tracking Unknown. Uh, that's because I did not check the status. Just click right there, Check Status. Uh, waiting for Data Analytics has been successfully installed and, is, and data is being gathered now. Uh, so that means we successfully installed the data there. So we come back to the page. Um, you'll see a little clock now. It says tracking is installed, but there's no data. Um, let's take a look at my other accounts real quick. Go to sequindesign.com. These are all the uh, websites that I manage. As you can see with my uh, search engine optimization, my websites do very well. iPad mod site is uh, up 533%. And my own site, Sequin Design, is up 117%. Uh, another customer I'm pretty proud of, ammusicentertainment.com. Uh, he's actually up 3,333%, uh, which is really good, if you ask me. Um, 
you can look at a couple different features here, but that's going to be for another video. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit sequindesign.com forward slash blog for more tips on search engine optimization and website design.